Hi everyone, welcome back. Today I'm going to show you how to get this Marie inspired Disney bound. So I'm going to start off with my makeup. I'm going to fill in my brows and now taking my Dumbo Eye Pencil in Milk from NYX. I'm going to go ahead and place that all over the lids. It looks kind of crazy but with a flat brush, you can use a concealer brush and I'm just going to blend that out. Taking and using my finger if I need to just to blend out those edges. I have already applied my primer and foundation. So now taking my NYX Love in Paris eyeshadow palette in number 8, Let Them Eat Cake. I'm going to take that pink color and just apply it all over my lids. Taking that peach color right in the center, I'm going to apply that in the outer corners. Using this peach eyeshadow is just going to help bring some more warmth to the eyeshadow look. And it also helps blend out the shadow into my skin tone a little bit better, which is nice. So this is it for the eyeshadow. It's very simple, but I like it. So now I'm going to line my eyes using a gel liner and an angled brush and I'm going to make a double wing. So you want to start off by making a sketch of a wing and this is going to be a little bit low. Depends how you usually do your wings but if you do a high wing you want to do it lower just because we need to make room for two wings. So once you make that low wing you want to place another sketch of a wing right on top. And then you want to go ahead and fill those in. So taking the top line, I'm connecting that to the top of my eye, wherever it meets my eye, the bottom of my eyelid. And just go ahead and fill those in like you would do a normal wing, except that now you have two wings. And this is going to help resemble her lashes and I don't know, I think that's very dramatic um, and very flirty looking. Since Marie is a little sassy and she does have those nice beautiful lashes. Now I must admit that I did find it a little tricky to use an angled brush to do liner. I am not used to using an angled brush to do my liner. I usually use a pointy brush but I made it work and I would just suggest to use anything that makes you feel comfortable. So this is the finished liner and you want to do that to both eyes. So now I'm going to put on my Kate Moss lipstick in 104 by Rimmel London. And to make the lipstick even lighter, I'm going to use my NYX Jumbo Pencil in Milk and place that over the lips. And this is just going to make it a lighter pink. I'm going to go ahead and curl my lashes and apply my Makeup Forever Smoky Extravagant Mascara. This is just a sample size, but I'm going to apply it to the top and bottom lashes. Now taking my Jumbo Pencil again, I'm going to go ahead and draw my nose. I'm making the corners round rather than sharp just to give it a softer look. So I'm just going to make a triangle on my nose and fill that in. Now for some reason when I was doing this tutorial I forgot to put blush on but I usually always put blush on. I would use a light pink color or even a deeper pink would also work. And now taking that pink eyeshadow that we used for the lids, I'm going to go ahead and take that and pat it onto the white. I'm going to go ahead and line the nose just to make it pop a little bit more with my NYX Slide On Glide On Stay On Eyeliner. Now the line, because of that white pencil, is not very deep. It's not you know as black it's sort of like a gray but that works for me because it's not as harsh I'm taking white cream makeup and a flat brush and what you want to do is make it thicker and then flick it out for a thinner line I'm using this to resemble fur so I'm just putting some on my cheeks and basically on the outer uh, spaces of my face. Now if you don't have this white cream makeup, because I did get this close to Halloween, you can use the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Milk or even a uh, smaller and thinner white eyeliner. That would also work. So I'm just putting this around my cheeks and some on my forehead. Now I did end up taking some of those strokes off but I'll show that later on. 
So now I'm taking that white again and putting some on the sides of my nose just to, to give it more of a feline look. And here is where I ended up it's just blending some of that white out because I didn't really like I didn't like it. I felt it was a little too much. So taking my black liner, I'm going to sketch out my whiskers. I didn't want them to set up, so that's why I sketched it out, but you can just go ahead and draw these on right away if you want to. So once I felt good about those whisker lines, I took my gel liner and I drew it on those whiskers. You can see there that I flick out, and this just gives it a thinner point at the end. So I'm taking my lashes, and these are from the Good vs. Evil Maleficent and Aurora Lash Kit <laughs> that came out um, a few months back, and this is by Ardell, and I'm taking these Romantic Lashes. I like these because they're fun, they have glitter on them, and I've just felt like they fit Marie's personality a lot because she's so, so fancy. So I'm going to apply some lash glue on those and put them on. Now there are other lashes in this little kit and uh, they are, I believe they are the Ardell Wispies. Those will also work and I also do use those lashes with this look because they are wispy because they're a little bit longer on the outside edges. So those work as well because they do give you more of a cat eye look. So again, like I said, I'm going to apply these and I do have a hard time applying these sometimes. So just do your best and go ahead and apply those lashes. And when you're done, this is the finished makeup. My Marie cat ears are from my shop, Visions of a Daydream. My bow collar is not in my shop, but I did make myself. My earrings are from Forever 21, and they're just bow earrings. My shirt and my cardigan are from Papaya. My white pants are from Forever 21. My shoes are just plain Rite Aid shoes. And my tail is from Disneyland. Dressing up as Marie to Disneyland is so much fun. I absolutely love it. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you like this video and if you want to see more Disney bound videos or just Disney videos overall, please give this video a thumbs up. Please remember to subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. Have a wonderful rest of the day and rest of the week and remember that I love you so, so much.